supposed to spill it. Some of these possession throws, these arrow throws, these flat throws. I'm showing you some more variation, guys. Hopefully get some ideas of things that you can do. But for our quarterbacks, same as that we just saw that bubble. Same as we just saw where we're reading that backside backer. If he doesn't respect or widen out with the three receiver picture, then we know that we have numbers and leverage outside and the quarterback's going to just pull up, rip the ball out there. Okay, that screen, by the way, this a little flat screen there. You know, he's taking one real step up the field and he's working straight down the line of scrimmage because those other receivers just blocking bubble. It's just a different stimulus to give the defensive players instead of a bubble, guys. But again, I would urge you to make sure that you're training yourself, whatever you want to throw out there, make sure you're actually practicing it, throwing it. Here's the same thing done from the slot, okay? You know, we're motioning over. Stimulus response with the quarterback is, you know, what we would call the two-dropper, who with the motion, they don't really get down there to cover it. And that, you know, quarterback just pops out real quick and rips the ball out in the perimeter. Okay? You see that stuff there, guys. Okay, again, I'll keep going a little quicker here. We're going to run out of time, I think. Um, here's, a, here's another snapshot, guys, of the quarterback having to control the extra defender. Same kind of flat screen we've been talking about, but you can see the guy that he's supposed to read to throw the ball is a threat to the run play right now. And so the quarterback comes out, just rides it, ends up keeping it, comes out to look to throw. I think we call that wheeling and dealing. Okay, so he comes out to look to throw. Wheeling and dealing. Guy's chasing him. There's, you're walking in the end zone. Okay, I'll let you look and see if I missed this angle. And what you hope you're noticing, fellas, and hopefully how you can apply it to what you're doing is the variation of personnel and the variation of formations. But for the guy who's making a boatload of decisions, it's all same as teaching. Okay, that's what I'm hoping you get out of it so you could apply it to what you're doing.